Good afternoon. This is Jeffrey Johnson. This is Rene Kramer, my mate. We're going to do a typical Canadian barbecue. Loaded corn on the cob, barbecued flank steak, and we're going to make a nice marination in the mortar and pestle here. And here's what we're going to start with. Some pink peppercorns, some mustard seeds, some chili pepper, a little paprika. I crush the garlic in there. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to mix that all together, just like that. Beautiful. Get all the flavors out of there. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. Now, this is a special uh, pestle of mortar, isn't it, cousin? What's all that it smoke is. coming? Is that the, oh, that's the greenhouse on fire? And here with the flank steak, which is the triple A Canadian flank steak, we're going to just trim off the fat a little bit and the silver skin, of course, because that's a little bit tough to eat. Just like that. There we go. And Jeffrey, thank you for crushing up all this beautiful stuff here. We're just gonna put that right on the flank steak, just like that. If you see flames, we get the hose pipe out. All right, all right. There we go, turn that over, marinate it. Lovely, look at that. Then we're gonna take a pinch of salt, and this is our Malden salt again. Here we go. Put that right where it's the hottest. Oh, that's off hot. we go. That's really hot. Good. We're going to get ready for the corn because look at that corn. It's been on for about 15 minutes, okay? We soaked it in a bucket in a lot of water for a couple of hours. And we're going to have to load it up. We're going to do it Mexican style. I got some nice chili powder, fresh chili powder, queso fresco, and some beautiful Mexican limes here. We're just going to cut these in half, get them ready for the corn. And Jeffrey, if you could peel that baby for me, that would be awesome. Then we can start that. Oh, I get all the dirty work, don't I? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, all the, right. The beef looks pretty good. Look at that. It's cooking nicely. We're just going to flip it over on the same side. You don't want to oh, flip, air, air, flip right. the meat over too much. Look at this. Like Look it. at this. Look at yes. that. The reason you cook it in the, in the husk is it retains all the sweetness and you soak it in water before you soak it in water before you you cook it for about two or three hours it gets water gets water in the uh, in the husk and boils internally that is absolutely That's nice now lovely. we're going to flip the steak over and we just want to cook this medium rare you don't want to cook it any more than that because then it gets tough. Lovely. Thank you. That's You're great. welcome. Queso fresco is nice. Don't you use it. that language with me. Look at that. You can just it's crumble the it up. It's the that on is fire. absolutely <laughs> awesome when you crush it up like that. You guys should get some water ready. Yeah. You, you're going to get the chili pepper. There we go. Just sprinkle that lovely on this gorgeous corn. Look at that. Whoa. You can put on That's as much one. as you can take. It's a little spicy. It's just gorgeous. Look at the way it's caramelized on the outside. That's beautiful. Right, that's your. That's mine. That's yours. Absolutely excellent. That's beautiful. Lovely. There we go. We got one, two, three. Look at that. Magic. And, and our beef is getting better and better over here. We're going to have it another couple of minutes and then it should be just ready to go. Now with the, we're going to squeeze a little bit of lime on these things. Lime? Nice and fresh. Lovely. Sprinkle plenty of queso fresco on the corn. Pile it on high. Here, can I interest you in a glass of wine, what my mate? We drinking today, with the today, we're drinking Sangiovese. This wine, Castle, Castle Tolero. I can never say this is why they don't sell a lot of, of Italian wine. Nobody can pronounce it. Sounds it, it Sangiovese. Sounds like this is under eight dollars a bottle. No way! I don't why? believe that. And it's, Come I'll tell on. You what, Thank you. Let's Here's do that you. swirl again. Let's do, do this well to you the corn, the beef, and to Canada. Beautiful country. Beautiful. Right, now when you cut the beef, cut it at a bit of an angle, on a bias they call that, don't they? Look at that, lovely. You know, you've got to make sure it's cut against the grain, obviously. With the flank steak, that's very easy, but any beef like that, always this. cut it against the grain. Keeps it nice and tender. Lovely. 
I like my beef that. medium rare to medium rare, just like that. That's is. rare. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so loving do I. it. That's the way beef should be eaten. Now we're going to finish the corn. Your Honor, we're going to use some of that chili powder here. Why don't we finish the wine? Well, that we're going to do that off the mid the beef. We're going to dip that in here, and then you squeeze it on again. Look at that. Lovely. And here we go. Look. And done. Loaded corn. Nice flank steak with your own rub, and you can put in the rub whatever you like, fresh herbs, anything. I particularly like rosemary as well, that's very nice always with beef as well. How long did that take? Uh, 12 minutes maybe, I if think. That. What do you think? <laughs> took longer than I took to open the wine. Well, here's to our beef and a load of corn, Jeffrey. And to the well Casero. Very nice wine.